Uh, well, uh, welcome, Lana, uh, once again uh, to Lana's Coach. So we want to take a look at some of the bridging uh, requirements for KMTC courses. Uh, so this particular uh, concept comes about if you don't meet the requirements uh, to join the KMTC uh, to pursue these particular courses because there's always a, uh, some kind of requirements that you must have uh, met or you must met before you are enrolled for this particular KMT, uh, KMTC courses, right? So bridging gives you an opportunity uh, to do some certificates or rather a bridge in different uh, subjects that you didn't uh, maybe get the required uh, maybe marks, right, or grade, then you can be able to enroll for your what? For your KMTC uh, courses. So I just want us to spend a little time because uh, uh, we need to uh, be aware that we can always uh, meet our dreams uh, by bridging the various subjects and hence uh, doing the medical courses that we uh, actually uh, require. Now, uh, the minimum requirements for KMTC, all right, uh, for minimum requirements for KMTC courses, as you can see, uh, you need to have, like every medical courses offered at KMTC or any other institution requires a minimum uh, of four KCSE subjects. These are must-have, right? So depending on the level of training, we are talking about maybe whether you're doing certificate or diploma, you must have specific points in each subject right uh, in each subject yeah and meet the minimum grade uh, so that you can be able to apply so for example uh, you need to have a mean grade of what of c plain in your kcse in order to do what to pursue either diploma course right at kmtc or any other institution i have a pass in english right we also have uh, other biological or Kiswahili or biological or biology, sciences, maths, right, chemistry, uh, physics, or any other physical uh, science. So kindly take note of this, especially what I've underlined here, because these are the must-have, right, f uh, requirements for you to enroll for a diploma course, right. Uh, remember that you can always, um, if we check, you can always uh, maybe... Uh, do some certificate and then you upgrade to a diploma right so a KMTC offers five levels of training or five types of courses right uh, they offer certificate right KMTC offer certificate they also offer diploma a higher diploma uh, they also offer short courses and upgrading right now upgrading courses was were just introduced the other day because ideally KMTC doesn't offer these bridging courses as we're going to see. So they replace these bridging with what? Upgrading. However, upgrading uh, bridging is still happening, right? So you must have attained a mean grade of uh, C, right, in these specific subjects with those particular cluster subjects. Now this cluster subject is what normally, maybe you have a C as they are saying, but the cluster subjects, maybe you have a C minus, right? That's where the problem is, and that's why you require to do what? Uh, bridging, right? So this cluster subjects is what normally fail people. Now, does KMTC offer bridging courses? Because I've mentioned that they don't offer these particular bridging courses. Instead, they offer what? Upgrading uh, courses. So, uh, as I've placed here in red, KMTC does not offer bridging uh, courses, right? So if you want to do bridging courses, and I've, I'll show you the university and colleges that you can always partake this particular bridging, right? So as students who wish to apply for bridging uh, courses for that, so that they do the medical courses, we need to do these in different institutions that I'm going uh, to mention. So after you have done your bridging, uh, you will always uh, this you'll always receive a NEC or KC certificate that will allow you to apply for this particular uh, medical uh, courses. Can you remember uh, since there is no KMTC bridging courses, the institution offers what 
upgrading courses. So don't go to any KMTC campus asking for bridging course. They'll instead tell you to do upgrading uh, courses. So uh, the other thing that you need to factor is what cases KCSC mean grade that allows you to do uh, that you need to do a bridge, right? Because uh, not uh, we're, we're not saying that you need to have an E and you do a bridge. No, there's always um, a KCSC grade. So you can bridge uh, you can read bridge physics subjects, English, maths, uh, chemistry, and biology. Because these are, are the ones that you really require for any medical course. So, however, you need to have a mean a minimum of D plane. A minimum. So if you had a D minus and below, you can't be able to bridge, right? So, uh, and a KCSC mean grade of C plus if bridging for a degree. So if you're bridging for a degree, you need to have a C plus. If you're uh, bridging for um, a diploma, you have to have uh, a D plane, right? And a minimum of C minus in your at your KCSC. If bridging, sorry, a D D should be for a certificate. Uh, C minus you need you need to have if you're bridging for a diploma, right? Yeah, actually here it is. A discipline is for certificate. If you're bridging for a certificate, a C minus. If you're bridging for a diploma, and a C plus. If you're bridging for a degree, kindly take note of that. So, don't just go for a bridging course without this in mind. Very very important, and you can always share it uh, with others. So, what are the bridging options available for KMTC? As I mentioned, you can always bridge on these five subjects. Maths, chemistry, biology, physics, and English. Now, uh, as I mentioned, if you have passed biology or any biological sciences, they are good. If you pass in either English or Kiswahili, I think they can always give you a chance for that, right? And of course, physics. So take note of those bridging options that KMTC provides. So another thing that you need to factor in is how much does it cost to bridge a subject right so the cost of uh, the cost to bridge a subject depends on the institution which is very very good uh, like Chuka University and Chuka is one of the university that is known to provide these bridging courses uh, they charge students around 15,000 shillings to bridge per subject right so if you fail in maths you'll part with 15,000 if you fail in all those five, <laughs> you can do the math. Uh, University of Eldoret charges a tuition fee of this, right, so to bridge one subject, right, so take note of that. Multimedia uh, University, I'm just sampling, right, charges 29 to bridge per, 29,000 to bridge per subject. So you are advised to choose uh, the institutions. <laughs> according to the affordability so don't just go to a place where you'll strain uh, to to pay so arm yourself with uh, roughly uh, let's uh, say 20,000 per subject right uh, so that you meet your dream so lastly uh, universities and colleges in Kenya that offer bridging courses so for those of us who want to uh, enroll for the KMTC courses or any other medical course and you want to do the bridging course, check with uh, Chuka University. I uh, believe there's also a bridge college. There's also University of Kabianga. I also mentioned about Multimedia University. There are quite a number. Uh, there's also University of Eldoret. And of course, we have Nairobi Aviation uh, College. So uh, kindly uh, do some research on are uh, which kind of uh, institutions that you can be able to uh, to join for this particular um, bridging uh, courses and should you find this information useful always uh, be part of this particular um, uh, community